what's the difference between the free version of ChatGPT or GPT 3.5 and the paid version of ChatGPT Plus or GPT 4? Well, the free version's not really good at all, and the paid version is probably a lot better than you realize. All right, give me about five minutes and I'll tell you mostly everything that you need to know. All right, let's jump into it. But before we do, let me tell you what this is. This is our AI in five. We spent about five ish minutes most days uh, giving you the latest AI tools, tips, trip, tricks, techniques, everything. But uh, Everyday AI is a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter, helping us all learn and leverage generative AI to grow our companies, grow our careers. My name's Jordan. I host the show. Enough of that. Let's talk about the difference. All right. So it's important to note that the paid version of GPT-4 Turbo was just updated like two days ago. So a lot of new things. So GPT-4 Turbo update in the API, it features improved vision capabilities. Uh, developers previously had to use different models for text and image processing. Now they can use the same. Uh, it's People have said that there's much more uh, intelligent multimodal capabilities. Also, big one here, the knowledge cutoff is being updated, not as of today, but it's being updated from April 2023 to December 2023, which is a pretty big update, and also improved coding abilities. So don't listen to the marketing. We test everything. So, hey, you know, as an example, OpenAI said like six months ago that there's 128K of memory. Well, not inside ChatGPT, just inside if you're using the API. So I just did this test as of this morning. Always bring the receipts. There's the screenshot, but you'll see uh, in, in this, uh, you know, kind of example here, ChatGPT is easily able to recall some information early on in the chat. But once we actually get past 32,000 tokens, we ask the same question. It can no longer recall. So keep that in mind. We test everything before we tell you. So no, ChatGPT doesn't have a 128K memory. It has 32. All right. And actually, this is not a tutorial. We did a complete guide. So I'm going to make sure to link this in the description, but our seven steps on how to actually use ChatGPT in 2024. All right, here's a very quick rundown of the pros and the cons, the strengths and the weaknesses of the free version and the paid version. So the cost, obviously free, ChatGPT 3.5, uh, $20 a month for the paid version. Uh, limits, there's actually some limits uh, now within uh, GPT 3.5, but it's throttled. That's the biggest thing uh, with uh, GPT 4. Uh, with GPT-4, you get 40 messages every three hours, but you get priority. So during those busy times, the free version is going to be very slow. Uh, your speed should not be much affected if you're using the paid version, GPT-4 Turbo. Also, a lot of people don't know this. If you're using the Teams version, which is $30 a month, minimum two users, maximum 149, you actually get double those limits. So the strengths, well, there's really no strength in GPT 3.5. It's faster than it used to be, but there's really no strengths, if I'm being honest. A lot of strengths in uh, GPT 4 Turbo, and those comes in integrations. So in integrations, there's really none inside the free version. Uh, you can use your voice inside the mobile app if you're using the free, not on the desktop, but there's really no integrations at all in the free one. Uh, in the paid, there's a lot. So all these different, so you have a multimodal chat and the ability to use natural language to keep all of that uh, context in the uh, chat GPT's memory. You have advanced data analysis. You have DALL-E, you have GPTs. You have uh, an option to read aloud where ChatGPT can read back the response. You have browse with Bing. You have so many different things here. Uh, uploads, you don't have that in the free version. You do have it in the paid version. Uh, so, you know, you can upload PDFs, spreadsheets, JPEGs, et cetera, and it can use vision to actually see those uh, in the paid version. Knowledge cutoff. Uh, soon enough, it will be December 2023. It's still April 2023. With uh, the free version, it is January 2022. It is extremely old. Right, that's important because every single response actually depends on the quality, the relevance, um, and the uh, freshness of the uh, content that it is trained on. So that's why you get so many more hallucinations uh, in the free version of ChatGPT. So if you don't like it, that's one of the reasons why, and you're probably not using it correctly. But the uh, the combination of a newer knowledge cutoff, so more up to date training data, and the ability to browse with Bing, uh, obviously gets for much better uh, results in GPT-4 Turbo. And then we talked about memory. Currently, it's 32K. We're going rapid fire here. 
the most common questions and some answers. So what are the restrictions of the free version of ChatGPT, which is GPT 3.5? Well, it has no integrations. It's an older knowledge cutoff, a smaller memory, and it's not connected to the internet. So you're going to get a lot more hallucinations. And the base model is just not as good, right? People think, oh, it's it's like having you know an iPhone and then an iPhone with fewer features. No, it's like having uh, an iPhone for the paid version and a landline for the free version, completely different. Do I need an account for ChatGPT? Well, technically not anymore. You can actually use the free version of ChatGPT without even an account. You can be in an incognito window, use it right away. It's not gonna save those chats. So obviously if you want to save your chats or use the paid version, you need an account, but you actually can use it for free without an account right now. Is the free version of ChatGPT good enough versus ChatGPT Plus? No, not even close. Is the paid version of ChatGPT Plus worth it? Absolutely. $20 a month is literally a steal. It is robbery from OpenAI. I would easily pay $200 a month for ChatGPT+. Most people do not understand how good it is. It is in a league of its own. You can't compare it to uh, Gemini 1.5, to Cloud uh, Cloud Opus, your Cloud 3 Opus from Anthropic. Uh, here's the reason. all the uh, ChatGPT is a business operating system. Those other entities, even Gemini 1.5, it doesn't even connect with all Google products. Even if you're using an enterprise account like we are in Google Workspace, uh, Claude, Claude's uh, Claude 3 Opus, it's, yeah, it's a good model base, right? It benchmarks great, but it doesn't connect to anything else. It doesn't connect to the internet, uh, which is huge. It doesn't connect to millions of, of GPTs that you can build, right? So uh, the paid version of ChatGPT is definitely worth it. It's in a league of its own. What are the biggest advantages of ChatGPT Plus? Well, I kind of answered that, but you it has to be the third-party integrations. Browse with Bing, Dolly, so AI image editing, uh, code interpreter, um, you know, uh, what what am I, oh, GPTs, right? GPTs, huge. So all those kind of integrations, uh, voice, read aloud, uh, GPT vision, it's, it's amazing, right? Uh, so many advantages to ChatGPT Plus. Is Microsoft Copilot's GPT-4 the same as ChatGPT Plus? No. It's not. They both technically use GPT-4. Uh, Microsoft is uh, has been changing what parts of their free version of Copilot actually use Turbo and which ones don't, but it's completely different, right? It's not even technically the same engine. It's a tweaked engine. So Microsoft, in, with their Copilot, they have their own layer of training on top of the GPT-4 base model. So it is definitely not the same. Go try it out. Go find your favorite prompt or your favorite task to do inside of ChatGPT+. Do the exact same thing word for word inside Microsoft Copilot. You're going to get different results. A lot of times it's not as good. And the biggest difference here, y'all, is the integrations. You don't have GPTs with Microsoft Copilot's free version. Uh, you, you don't have advanced data analysis. You do have Dolly, so that has that in common. They both have Browse with Bing, but it is completely different. The main thing is Code Interpreter um, and all the GPTs. You don't have access to those things within Microsoft Copilot. Is Perplexity's GPT-4 the same as ChatGPT+. Plus? No. Again, uh, Perplexity is an answer engine that uses a different model to run. So you can use GPT-4, you can use Claude 3, uh, but it is not the same. It has their own, again, layer of training and it's uh, the co-pilot. If, if you're using the free version, you only get uh, five messages every like three hours, which is not a lot. And again, it is not the same thing. You don't get all those integrations. Uh, it is just using the base model. But again, Perplexity has its own layer of training on it. Where can I get GPT-4 for free? Well, I just mentioned some of them. Microsoft uh, Copilot, you can go inside uh, Poe, you can go inside Perplexity. There's dozens of places where you can get limited access to GPT-4 uh, for free. But again, it doesn't have all of those other features and integrations that you really want that you get for $20 a month, which is insane. Uh, when is chat GPT 4.5 or chat GPT 5 coming out? Well, we're not sure, uh, allegedly or presumably sometime in 2024, uh, according to recent interviews, I personally think that OpenAI is going to release it after Apple announces whatever AI that they're working on at the WWDC conference in June 20, uh, in June, 2024, uh, will chat GPT be free after chat GPT five comes out? No one knows. We also don't know if the next iteration is going to be 4.5 or GPT five. So we're not sure. Uh, and that is all. We didn't make it five minutes. We made it under 10. I hope this was helpful. If so, leave me a comment. Leave me a question. I'll get to your questions. And please, if you haven't already, go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. We'll see you back for another AI in five-ish. Thanks, y'all.